Princess Latifa, the daughter of Dubai's ruler, hasn't been seen for nine months. Her attempt to escape in March failed when she was captured and returned to Dubai. Her family claims she is safe, but she hasn't been seen for the past nine months. Before her disappearance, Princess Latifa recorded a video which is seen in tonight's program, and we can have a quick look now. Hello, my name is Latifa Al Maktoum. I was born on December 5, 1985. I have to remember to say everything, because this could be the last video I make. They will for sure try to discredit this video and say uh, it's a lie or it's an actress or something, for sure. Pretty soon, I'm going to be leaving somehow. And I'm not so sure of the outcome, but I'm 99% positive it will work. I didn't hesitate. I was like, yes, of course. That would be a great adventure for both of us to live together. She said she preferred to be killed on the boat rather than going back to, to Dubai. I can talk about a lot of things that I've seen in my life. It's not what's being portrayed by the media. There is no justice here. They don't care. Especially if you're a female, your life is so disposable. And if you are watching this video, it's not such a good thing. Either I'm dead or I'm in a very, very, very bad situation. Well, I'm pleased to say that uh, Tina Yahainen, who's uh, Latifa's best friend, Princess Latifa's best friend, and who you saw in that video, as you can see, she's here with me now, along with the producer of tonight's programme, Jane McMullen. Uh, Jane, I just want to pick up with th those last words. I mean, what do we think has happened to her? Uh, the answer to that is we don't know. So none of her friends have made have been um, contacted by Latifa since the fourth of March. Um, so uh, so we so we so we don't know uh, whether she's alive or whether she um, is no longer alive. The, uh, the the government of Dubai issued a statement yesterday saying that she is um, alive and with her fa happily with her family. Tina. A lot of people will look at this. Here, here is a, a princess, her, her father, one of the most powerful men in the world. She had an amazing lifestyle, but what's the but? What, what, what made her so unhappy? Well, obviously, if you look at the skydiving pictures, you think that her life is, is incredibly fun, but there is a dark side to it. Um, she had tried to escape first time in 2002, and as a result, she spent three and a half years in prison and she was actually tortured. So she had a lot of restrictions put upon her um, in terms of curfews, uh, places she was allowed to go. And this was, at the, this was her family doing this? Yes. She was not even allowed to study or go to a different emirate. In prison, what sort of conditions that time round? Um, that was solitary confinement. Um, sometimes left in, in dark for days, sometimes light on for days. She had nothing to wash her body. Um, she was tortured. She was beaten up. Um, Jane, at a time when Dubai is selling itself globally as, as, as we've reinvented, it's a tourism uh, attraction for many people. What does it say about what's going on there at the moment, that, that this happens? Well, that's, that's exactly why we wanted to make the film, is that we have this image of Dubai, this it's a place, Winter Sun, it's a place that lots of Brits go on holiday to. It's a place, it's a huge, hyper-wealthy financial hub where, you know, a lot of banking happens there, a lot of Brits work there, and we really wanted to show, to explore this darker side to it. Um, one of our interviewees calls it one of the most repressive, the UAE, one of the most repressive countries in the region. It's a place where, you know, the family law allows for um, men to lock up and beat their wives. So we wanted to, to explore that side of it. And obviously we have, with, uh, with Sheikha Latifa, we have this extraordinary 40 minute video in which she um, tells the entire story of her life. 
Um, and yes, and, and then that's obviously backed up by, uh, by all the friends who knew her as well. And, and your evidence obviously <coughs> is central to this. Just tell us about the escape attempt that, that ended with her recapture. Well, basically we met early in the morning and we, uh, we drove from Dubai to Oman. It was a very risky mission. Then we took a dinghy to, um, obviously, off the coast of Oman, about 15 miles off. We, we were met by Hervé Joubert, the captain of, of Nostromo, who basically took us with um, jet skis to the boat. And we spent about eight, year, sorry, eight um, days at sea um, before the attack happened. And it was a brutal uh, military attack by both um, Indian and UAE military forces. There was um, um, Indian Coast Guard ships, so um, military vessels, um, airplanes, helicopters, um, commandos, and we were unarmed. So, how did you get out? <coughs> Sorry. How did you get out? Um, well, I was taken uh, to UAE, um, so I was basically missing for about three weeks. And um, thanks to detained in Dubai and the media pressure they uh, managed to create. Um, I was released. She knew what the risks were, didn't she? Um, we were both aware of the risks, but because she's really my best friend and like my family, I was, I was willing to take the risk to help her. What, what does it say about Dubai's treatment of women? I, I, it, this is an issue about the treatment of women, isn't it? Um, they're trying to portray um, equal rights, but the reality is completely opposite. Um, even male guardianship still exists over there. And um, women can be um, jailed for being rape victims because over there that means um, sex outside marriage. On a personal level, I mean, you, you, you say you're her best friend. Yes. What, what, what sort of conditions do you think she's in right now? Um, I think she's probably somewhere locked up, um, drugged, because Latifa is a fighter. She would not give up. So easily. So, Jane, when you first heard this story, I mean, were, were there were there any feelings of oh, this is a bit this this could be a bit risky, in in, in broadcasting, um, what are quite strong allegations about how her family have treated her? Absolutely. Well, we've we've had uh, in making this documentary, we've had seven months of uh, investigative journalism to stand up the allegations that Latifa makes in the video and obviously the story that um, Tina and the other uh, witnesses tell of what happened after they left um, and then they sailed across the Indian Ocean and, and, and were caught. So, I mean, we, we've spoken to friends, we've spoken to experts, we've, we've, I've had a whole team working on this for, um, for seven months, standing this, this up and, and getting <coughs> to the point where we can broadcast the documentary. Tina, what were the last things she said to you before? She was taken away. Well, the last words um, of Latifa were um, just shoot me here rather than take me back to UAE. And um, obviously, I was I was paralyzed, so I I couldn't say anything. When I saw her screaming and kicking, and while she was being taken away, I I wish I had told her something. But I was I was completely paralyzed. Well, thank you so much for coming and talking about it. That's Tina Yahi Heinen and uh, Jane Merriman. And uh, this is on at 9 o'clock tonight, BBC yes, Two. Well, yeah. thank you very much, both of you, for coming to talk thank about you. it. Thank you.